This is one store. Put my chicken inside some Louis and some Valentino. Put my bro inside some Gucci and some Louis Chino. They want my money like this a casino. I was good, guys. It's Pokey Banks, baby. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Now, today's video, I'm gonna be doing a day in the life with a seven-figure dropshipper, Franco. Bear in mind, guys, this guy's only 17 years old. At 17 years old, I was just getting into entrepreneurship. So again, we're gonna ask all of the questions: how he got started. The journey, moving down to even London, it's crazy man, let's get it. As you already know, we're the one and only, Franco, he's a 17 year old dropshipper, seven figures guys. So again, whatever he has to say, you have to listen to it properly. But anyways, what's good though, um, how was the story, like, talk to me about, you know, getting started with dropshipping and like making your way down to even moving down to London, as you guys can see. It's, it's been a journey, it's been a journey, like, I've probably been doing this for like, I don't know, three years now like I remember my first ever store mm. was in like 2017 so like it was a long time ago like I was really young like mm. I didn't have a clue what I was doing mm. I would say the whole thing was pretty much done by like experience like I never really took any course I never really you know did anything too mm. much like mm. a lot of it is self-taught like a lot of it is learning from my mistakes you know I probably could have got it much sooner but I kept on taking breaks you know yeah. like I never focused 100% on it but then you know I'd keep on going back to it like I'd start a store it wouldn't work, I'd take like a two month break and I'd start a new one. And it, and it, was, it was good when, it, when I finally got to work, like it, it was really, it was a good What feeling. was the feeling like when you noticed that dropshipping's working? You'll, you'll know if it's working, like that's the thing, like you can't... <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> I finally got to work um, in March 2020. I remember I did like a thousand pounds in like a day. Um, that was like, you know, one of my first days with that store. Mm. Um, and then at least you scaled it up from there. Like I remember literally within like 20 days of me starting the store, uh, I'd done like 9k in a day. I knew so much, but I never had the store actually work. So like, it was finally then when I could play around with scaling, all the tactics and you know the strategies which I'd already learned. Yeah. Like I could finally you know you know test them out when it was working. You know because you know you can learn a lot of stuff, but you know half the things you won't even need until it actually works. The main thing with dropshipping is literally just the testing process. Like the product that you run is very important. You know. May I ask, what was your first product? <laughs> it's this. So this is this is an exclusive. This is my, my first ever my first ever winner, oh, Gadget wow. Projector, and that's literally like, you know, around the time that I, I got dropshipping to work was when that was trending. So you mm. know, it's literally just mainly about trends. That that is literally what allowed me to you know this get started in dropshipping, finally get things working. And I, I feel like once you had one store work, you know, it puts you in a very good position to get other ones to work because then you know the experience of like actually you know scaling the store, you know, yeah. getting things right, what you need to do. Like, let's say you've got your, your winning store template, you know, you, you know what, what you'll make every store look like, okay? All of my stores pretty much look the same in terms of like the template, the theme that I use, everything's very similar, you know, like the apps I use. And that's how you can test products really fast, you know, sort of have your, your main template and then just keep on churning them out. Like every day, try and test the products, you know? Dropshipping is one of those industries where I know a lot of people are failing, so again, do you know, what would you say is making you different? Like, why are you living the high life? The main thing is, um, is literally just perseverance. Like, you know, I just kept on coming back to it, you know, like I kept on coming back to it. It took me a long time to get it actually to work, but, you know, I always knew that dropshipping was a business model that works, and I knew that I was going to get it to work. You know, to ask, to work. How much did you lose before getting a big break? Just to give that yeah, a I'd probably say around 2000. 2000? Yeah, pounds. probably like 2000. You know, I was telling people, like, when I was doing these stores, I was like, you know, even if it worked, it doesn't work. The experience that you can get from spending, like, I don't know, 400 pounds on Facebook ads, you can't actually fully learn until you do it yourself. I'd say 99% of the things that I know now when it comes to dropshipping, like, I haven't learned from online. Like, literally, most things are just self taught, doing the experience, you know, actually trying it yourself, and that's where you will, you know, fully learn everything. And um, why did you um, pick dropshipping out of all the hustles? Like, do you not try any other hustles? Like, I tried quite a few. I can't lie. Like, I, I've tried. Like, here's the thing. Like, what I was thinking back in the day was like, I'm just gonna try as much as I can, as, as many different things, and you know, whatever works works. But dropshipping was the one that worked best for me, and it's also the one that, you know, the whole lifestyle of dropshipping really, you know, appealed to me. You can just, you know, be in a bedroom and just, you know, what I mean, dropship. Yeah, it like, it's very straightforward. Yeah. With um ads, do you make use of credit cards? Yes. Yeah, yes, so it's yes, yes. integral. Yeah. This is very important, okay? I get my credit cards. I've got three, I've got three hours. 
I started with like obviously the Amex Gold. Um, this is like you know the first card that I, I got. Um, obviously, you know, I used my parents' credit to be able to get an Amex in the first place. Um, you know, these cards are fully mine, like I'm the only person who uses the American Expresses. But yeah, nice no, is really good because obviously you get flight points, you know. So like I, I could probably fly to Dubai like first class three times for free. And since you're spending it on, you know, your um, ads, which are yeah. doing crazy. So I spent hundreds of thousands. So like, you know, they add up and you get free flights. You can also, you know, exchange it for money. Um, so if you want to, so I probably cash out a few thousand, you know, like it's, it's just really good. And it's a no brainer if you're mm. doing dropshipping, like, oh, and you get credit, so you don't have to pay it off until like obviously a month after. When you're scaling and you're spending like loads of money, obviously, you know, it takes like a few days to actually get the money in the account. Mm -hmm. So if you're just using your own money, like it can get kind of hard, yeah. especially when, you know, you haven't got too much money. Yeah. You know, like I did at the start. So like, yeah, like, you know, it's, it's definitely good to use these and I, I'd really recommend it. And like, obviously there's another one here. This is the British Airways British one Airways that one. I got. Um, and then finally, you know, there's like the Platinum, which is supposed to be like the best one. Okay. Um, this is like the final one. There you go. It's down the middle. Uh, Damn! <laughs> Alright, nah, don't worry, I'm in. Oh. Alright, <laughs> never mind, never mind, video over. <laughs> 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 nah. Good game, good game. Yeah, you uh, Alright, cool. So, a lot of people ask me, you know, how much does it cost for a young kid to you know, get started with dropshipping? Mm -hmm. And how much would you recommend to those watching? In terms of like getting it to work, I think you can definitely get it to work within like £2,000, 100%. Like, Okay, yeah. so not like a hundred pounds. That's all. That's no, I, th I, th I think you know you don't just want to just be really tight with it, to be honest. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. like, let's just say you just allocate a hundred pounds. You know, a hundred pounds will let you test one product. You can test one product. That's fine. The chance of that product actually working. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know you want to allocate you know enough money to be able to test each product correctly. The chances of the first product, your first error product working, is very low. Just because as well, like your store probably won't look very good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like let's be honest. Like it's your first ever time using Shopify first ever time designing a website like it's probably not going to be too good. I wanted to get into that actually with with dropshipping right I've noticed that you need skills for web design yeah copywriting Facebook ads you know even just making websites yeah these are so many skills into one hustle so would you say or one business so would you say is it outsourcing or is it learn as you go along so I remember like probably I don't know, my third or fourth store, I tried to like outsource quite a lot. I was like, okay, you know, my budget's bigger now, let me try and outsource, let me do all this. Yeah. But it really didn't make any difference. Like, I, I can't lie, like, you can outsource, but unless you're, you know, paying like top, top money, like, it's not going to be, you know, crazy Too good. Different. Like, with me, like, because I'm good at Facebook ads, you know, I've done it for a while, I've probably, you know, got, well, I don't know, multiple hundred <laughs> thousands of pounds experience with it, you know? Yeah. So, like, from then on, I decided, you know, I was going to start, you know, helping other people do it. So, like, I was taking on clients to uh, do their ads, you know. So, like, that's the thing. Like, if you actually learn these skills, like, you can use them skills for other things as well. So, cool. You want people to start, or you recommend that people start with £2,000. Now, some, you know, 14-year-old kids may not have that. So, you know, what hustles would you recommend to them? Or was there anything you did before to get that type of money? Yeah, definitely. I did this via, like, the free platforms, you know. There's, there's loads of free platforms where you can just sell stuff. Like... I know a lot of people who are killing it with like you know Facebook Marketplace. You don't need money to make money. Okay, maybe when you're you know at the the massive level, you know it's, it's you know it really helps. But when you want to get your first couple thousand, like you can definitely do that just on your own online. So the way that I did it mm. was I used to use Depop. <laughs> mm. So like I used to dropship on Depop via eBay. I was you know in, in high school and I was I was making like a couple thousand a month. Oh what? Guys, <laughs> there's no excuse. Like no one teaches Depop, you know, like mm. you just have to be smart. You have to just think, you know, okay, how, how can I just make money? Like yeah. there's opportunities everywhere. I, I can't even lie. And things, try as many things you can, especially mm. when you're young. With Depop specifically, so simply you'll get items that are cheap on eBay. You found a market on Depop where people are paying a little bit more higher. Simply you'll screenshot the picture on eBay. So you didn't ever have it. And you'll just drop ship it on to Depop. Yeah, I'd find these products that you know, we're, we're trending, I don't know, streetwear type clothes, like just anything, any type of, you know, product that people were, you know, trying to buy, like it was yeah. in trend at that point in time. Um, and then I just go onto eBay, see if I can find that product, if yeah. I can, screenshot it, mm. and then upload it onto Depop for a bit more. In your opinion, what is the most effective way to advertise at what platform? All right, so there's loads of different ways right now. Even now, TikTok organic, like I know people who are killing it. Some mm. of my friends are making so much money from it. Mm. You know, literally just posting a TikTok you know, a cool TikTok of the product making like, you know, a brand yeah. account. Um, and then, you know, I don't know, your TikTok goes viral, you get like a million views and you'll make like, you know, tens of thousands, you know, wow. like there's so many ways, but like the way that I do it and the way that I find the most success 
is um, with Facebook ads, which also includes like Instagram ads. Um, Snapchat ads and TikTok ads. There is one thing now about like Facebook with the whole like yeah. iOS 14. There's like a big thing about it now, but um, I'm still, you know, getting it to work. Like everything's oh, still, still, still going fine. Like you know, these platforms work. You know. But do you believe in you need to be an all rounder? Like so, everything needs to fall into place to be successful. Do people. Need okay. To Here's the way that I like to think about it. So, okay, you can succeed with bad marketing, bad store, as long as your product's good enough. But you can't do it the other way around. It is definitely, you know, important to be all around. Like you, you want to be, you know, good at most things. But you know, my stores aren't, you know, rocket science. They're good. <laughs> they're okay. But it's not like, you know, I don't know, some crazy like Gymshark. Like just, just try and be a jack of all trades with that. Look at your competition mm -hmm. and see what's working for them. So what? Is AliExpress dropshipping dead? Yeah. It's, it's been dead. AliExpress dropshipping is dead, man. There's loads of different ways to do it. Like loads of different platforms you can use. You know, I've never really used any other platform because I have a private supplier. Oh, okay, so I have my own guy in China who fulfills everything. He has his own, own warehouse. Everything's done like that. Yeah. But obviously, there's there's actually websites you can use now. But I know that there's like Zendrop. That's like a big one that a lot of people use. Obviously, you gotta stay safe. <laughs> Fair enough. Go on. But anyways, what people wanna know is, and I always hear this question. Is it too late to start dropshipping in 2021? If I'm making money and there's other people that, that I know of and that you know of who are making money in dropshipping right now, then it isn't dead. It can't be. Okay? <laughs> like, if I can make money in dropshipping right now, there's absolutely no reason why you can't. Yeah. You know? So, like, it's just a matter of being savvy, you know, making sure you do things right. Look at, you know, what dropshipping stores are working right now and see what they're doing right. So, you, in terms of what you said about Instagram feed, you must just scroll just to see ads in it. I see dropshipping ads every day. That's how I find my main products. So just like that. That's one of one of the ways. <laughs> that makes sense. And when you see ads as well, you even you don't even see it as a consumer. You see it like, it's like okay, how good was this ads? Will it convert? Like I thought you. Let, let me literally get on my notes because I'll show I'll show Foku like I'll see something that they're doing right. I'll go on my notes and write down what they're doing right. You know what I mean? Mm. So I can use that in the future. Like you just want to be smart about it. Okay. So what would you say is the best industry to like, or to the best niche of products? I understand there's no best, but like recommend that yeah pop, like pop, pop like right now you know the one of the biggest trends right now you know everyone's using tiktok okay mm -hmm. and there's loads of products in that sort of tiktok niche what would people my age buy i don't really run products for people who are like i don't know 40 50 years old yeah. like you know that they would buy i i know the most about you know what's trending right now i know what my friends are talking about yeah. you know what i mean so i try to run products that are based around that would you say what's that average length or the life of one of your stores would you say like, a few months so it really depends like i've had a store that's run for like six months like i've also had stores that you know have made a lot of money and they've run for like i don't know two months three months the products will die especially when you're doing drop shipping because you know the, the main the main thing about drop shipping is jumping on a trend yeah. and trends die of course may i ask how does a product die like is it just less conversions like, is it less? everyone's seen it everyone's seen ads for it why would you buy ads seen like 10 times you only have a couple of opportunities to actually you know win people over yeah drop shipping seems all glamorous and that but Talk to me, what would you say are the negatives of dropshipping? You know, what would you say are the future implications of maybe the industry dying? Dropshipping as a business model will most likely always be around. Like there'll always be a way to dropship. The negatives, that there, there are there are a lot of negatives, you know. Mm. Let's say you've just had like, I don't know, like a, a really, you know, high revenue day. Mm. And then it will fall off and it happens. Like mm. you need to expect that. Yeah. Sometimes it will be hard to get new stores to work. Yeah. And then, you know, you'll go from making tens of thousands a month to making nothing. A lot of people don't account for the refunds, the chargebacks, yeah. all of that. You know, people will think they've made, I don't know, 20% net profit. They're like, okay, cool, I've made all this money. Let me go spend it, okay? And then you start getting refunds. You start getting chargebacks. You start getting all of this. Yeah. Like, it's normal. You will get refunds. Yes. But obviously, make sure you do your customer service right because that's very important. You just have to account for all of that. Like, don't spend all the money straight away. I remember there's also tax, like, you yeah. know, <laughs> the tax you know what I mean? Talking of tax and, you know, personal finance, how would you say you uh, manage your money per se? So like, I wouldn't say I'm like the craziest spender. It's important to take breaks you yeah. know, and it's also, you know, just experience like I'm young. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think I go too crazy, like, you know, on drip, like designer, like, you yeah. know, certain people do, but you know, everyone has it. Every, everyone, you know, goes to that phase, especially when you first start getting money at a young age. Like it can be very, very confusing. Like, and I remember when I first started making money, I didn't spend a penny. It was during lockdown. So oh, it was yeah. obviously, you know, it's not going to be too easy to spend, but I didn't spend literally a penny mm, until right. like, I don't know, five months in. But talking of the money that you don't spend, would you say you save a lot? Do you invest a lot? Like, what do you do outside of dropshipping 
in terms of just preserving your wealth in a way. For sure. So I think um, with me, uh, I do like to save a lot of money. Like you know, I have a lot of money saved. You know, investments are also important. Like I, I do like invest. The main thing I invest in is like sort of like you know myself, like in terms of like yeah. knowledge. You know, I yeah, try like learn new things. But yeah, like you know, there's obviously cryptos, and that's a big thing right now. I've got yeah. a little bit of crypto. I'm not like too crazy. My main focus, my sole focus, is my business because business, yeah. that's where you can get the most money. That's where you can get rich. You know, like even with like I don't know stocks and stuff like you need a driver you need a driver and the mm. business is my driver mm. that's very true because i feel like a lot of people want to like be seen as like someone that's investing everywhere but yeah. if you have something if you have a machine that's already working and exactly. printing money put more money into the machine guys exactly like your business will be you know you, you get you the most return out of anything out of anything he's already, he's already invested his time into it to build it to a stage that's working now just just putting gasoline on the, exactly. on, the, on, the on the fire just to show they're not you're not capping you just show them some results just to <laughs> shout out the hairs. yeah of course of course yeah this is one store again like listen to what he has to say take notes and this guy's only 17. obviously people want to know that like, roughly just in general what would you say would you say is like then the net profit margins would you say so with drop shipping um i'd say you want to sort of aim for like 30 percent like yeah. that's that's the main number that everyone you know wants to aim for if you're running like facebook ads just regular ads like yeah, thirty percent is a good target. There you go, smooth. And just to end off the vigil, where would you say is the best place to learn like courses? Or do you even offer anything yourself? Any mentorships? So, like I don't really like offer anything. Um, oh, what's that? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too first. Like oh, you know, I, I spend, busy making money. <laughs> and if you DM me, like you know, I will give some advice there. The main way that I learn, and the main way which I'd recommend everyone learning, um, you know, YouTube. There's loads of stuff. I'm not, I'm not too big into courses. So I don't think like you know, especially with dropshipping. Like you know, there's a lot of people who, you know. I don't know, yeah, like a, there's a lot of cap, like you know what I mean, like yeah, to be stunning. honest. But 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 yeah, like you know, just just be careful. You know, you can learn everything to succeed on YouTube and just by yourself. You know, you can watch any course, but there's no there's no like you know crazy secret. You yeah. know what I mean? The main thing is issue just doing yourself, trying to get it to work, and learning from your mistakes. And finally, just about you, what holds in the future for Franco? You know, the next five years. Are you looking to move away from dropshipping anytime soon? You know, start up your own brand and fulfill yourself. Like what, what's next? Yeah, exactly that. Like, you know, I'm trying to get more into branding. That's one of the big reasons why I wanted to move here so I could properly focus yeah. and knuckle down. And I've got a lot of projects that, that, that are sort of going on. Um, just build a brand and just something where every day, you know, I know that, you know, I'm making my customers really happy. They love the product, um, you know, and it's just it's just something that I'm super proud of, you know. So like that's, that's sort of the next step. I'm not even too fussed about the money. It's issue just about making, you know, something that, you know, you know, everyone loves and that you know i can be super proud of so there you go guys that is a lot of gems just given by franco as you can see you know seven figure drop shipper take it in you've seen the proof you've seen all of the you know stories he's given you take it in take notes and apply it don't just watch the video and then go binge watch netflix no watch the video and then go work in your drop shipping store okay you already know let's get it it's pokey banks baby